how's everybody doing okay I checked into this as much as I could so far things are looking good I don't think we're gonna have anything in February 2013 next year we got a lot of stuff before then possibilities we already know that so February of 13 at least this thing here looks like a non-event looks like a clear miss so this is the sixth of this writing pretty recent it says basically the same thing uh, the mileage may be just a tad different and they have the 15th of next year and the orbit diagram will show the 16th of next year um, but they're saying the same thing if it hit it would cause a uh, explosion similar to nuclear blast okay It talks right here about the two astronomers that spotted this in late February. Some reports indicated an impact was a possibility. Okay, so we know that because we've already seen the story. But Phil Plyatt has ruled out an impact. He is a U.S. astronomer and the creator of the Bad Astronomy blog. He's certainly not going to hit Earth next February. By almost certainly, he means it. The odds of an impact are so low, they are essentially zero. This does not rule out something in the future, but for now, we're okay with this. And it's going to come within 17,000 miles of Earth, like we know and it's well beneath many of our satellites to the best of his knowledge it's the closest pass of a decent sized asteroid ever seen before the actual pass itself however uh, let's be very clear it will miss in human terms it's a clean miss in astronomical terms it's pretty close and then it ends with saying that the next closest brush with earth will come in 2020 Man, he asserted that even then the odds of an impact are one in a hundred thousand. Okay. But this is our impact risk data. I have your pretty much everything you'll need. You have your scales, Palermo. Trino, you have your diameter, your infinity, and your impact. He, or that article mentioned 2020, so that would be right here. This top one, it looks like. So let's see. This is what it looks like on 2020. We see our 0.117 AU. And we see some distance there. But it's definitely farther away according to these figures of what it will be then to opposed to what it is right now. And we look clear on that day too, even though that claimed it'd be the next flyby of it. And then here we are on the the date that we feel pretty secure now that it's supposed to miss. From what some are looking at, it looks pretty solid. You see, it's, if it's going to miss here, well, it's farther away then, so. No brainer on that one. So it looks, you know, a little bit closer than what it'll actually be. You know, you can't see the distance between the dots really. But we're going to be clear. So there may be some more stories about the potential of it but it is looking like it is going to be a clear February 16th of 20 to 13.
So before 2013, we have to make it through 2012. We're just into March. We've got several months left. I'd be real surprised, like I said, if diplomacy worked in the Middle East and defused the tension. You heard another statement already, at least I have. Obama said it's not if Assad goes, it's when. That's Hillary Clinton, I heard, said the same thing. So, that's her little code signal. It's, they already know he's going to go. They're going to get rid of him one way or another. He's not going to knuckle under. I can't believe that. So, they have a, a win in mind. They got their little timetable of when. So when they decide when is when, then they're going to do some stuff. And that's the same thing with what's going on with Iran. When they decide when is when in their timetable, then they're going to do some stuff. Right now they're just positioning posturing, media-sizing, so to speak. They're getting it out there about the tension, everybody's watching, or some are, and people are talking and wondering. That's what's going on now, except in, you know, somewhere like Syria. But they kind of want to keep that on the second page. No, Syria doesn't seem to be really front page it's like turn the page over to 1B so that's the markers on the ground the Middle East and we already know to keep look overhead have you been watching Jupiter and Venus it's looking pretty good when I came out at midnight Mars was pretty well oh, to my south, kind of almost overhead, and the moon was up there, it looked pretty cool. And what do we have, about another week into next week, we're going to hit Jupiter and Venus at their close point, and I don't believe we'll see that for quite a while. I'll check into that, but I don't, I don't believe it'll be for a while. So if it be clear, and I'm hoping it will be, there's not a bunch of clouds that day, that night. I'm hoping that I can get decent pictures of it. And I'd like to keep some of that, if it's not going to be around doing that again for a while. You never know. may not be around for a while. So wanted to bring that and let everybody know it looks like we're going to be clear in February of 2013. There may be some more stories, but from what I'm reading into and looking at, it looks like they're right. It's going to be a mess. That's a good thing. So, I'm going to let everybody go. And midweek, hope it goes quick. We can hit the weekend. If everybody doesn't have to work on a weekend, well, free time. I hope you all doing all right out there. Things are about the same with my other nephew. So we're still praying with him, trying to keep his spirits up and everything. So God bless you all, and thanks for all the good wishes. I'll talk to you all soon.